And now, for the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe with Starfield. Wow, this looks terrible. Hey guys, welcome to my first Bethesda game playthrough. What the fuck, dude? All right, let's do this. I am going to Uranus. Oh, the 30 frames, no! He's just a big baby. What's this? I am legally obligated to buy the next Fallout game. What the fuck, Todd? This is us, Tana Lore. And this is Starfield, an RPG set in space. Now come with me as we explore the galaxy. All right, guys. Welcome to Star Wars. Hey, watch I guess you can't kill him. What's wrong with you? How are you alive, man? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? I want to drive into the sun. Is it possible? It's called freedom of gameplay. Okay, I'm sure you can drive into the sun. In All this of this game. just works. This star field ain't big enough for the two of us. Ooh, I want that outfit. Welcome to New Atlantis, guys. Let's look around first. Beautiful work, Bethesda. Wow, bellissimo! That's uh, French for 30 frames per second. He's just a big baby. Name's Tanalor. I'm new around here. Don't don't look at me. 16 times the detail. You can tell they did put a lot of work in this area. This is 16 times 16 the detail. 16 times the detail. Boo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, you little rascal. I'ma be real with you guys, I don't like being forced to stare at their lifeless eyes. Okay, welcome to my crib! My mansion in the stars, my bachelor pad. I have to pay the bank $500 every time I want to go in. Just pay off the balance, then the house is yours, free and clear. Well, how much is- 125,000, are you out of your mind? Absolutely. <gasps> you can go on a train ride! 16 times the detail. Yo! Never mind, it's a cutscene. Magnificent. This is next gen. All of this just works. Okay guys, let me show you how to pay off your bank loans in one simple step. I have hostages! Get the fuck back! You know, they say AI is the future. What the fuck? I killed that guy! <laughs> is it you? Is it really, really you? Yep, Tanalor, that's Captain me. Of the frontier. Completed the uh, the Kessel the Run in 12 parsecs. I want to join the Vanguard, which is like the police force. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Five minutes later. Congratulations, applicant. Okay, I'm a cop now. I will arrest the sun after this ad break. This video is sponsored by Warhaven. I used the ad money to buy Armored Core 6. Warhaven is a PvP medieval fantasy action game. Free to play and dropping soon on PC. New sword game, ladies and gentlemen. This game is 12v12, so it's very action packed. You can charge in with your team and have epic cinematic battles. Six different character classes. There's the great sword guy. There's the spear user, Warhammer. I love this guy. Every promo of this game, he's always got a goofy ass smile. No matter what class you choose, they're able to turn into an immortal, which are these like super classes. Oh my god, Melania, Blade of Mikula. You can play Warhaven starting September 20th. Uh, just click my link in the description if you want to wishlist the game on Steam. I'll also leave a link to their very detailed website if you want to learn more about the game. Swords, Magic, Melania, plus it's free to play. I'd say that's worth trying out. Thank you again to Warhaven for sponsoring this video, which we'll now return to. All UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. I swear to serve and protect the United Colonies. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? I, Tantalor, swear to- hold the values oh, of the Vanguard. Sorry, go on. Honor. You know, for a space exploration game, the space exploration part is ass. The game doesn't let you fly in and out of planets or anything like that. You open the menu and fast travel where you gotta go. Why can't I fly into the sun, Todd? Okay, everyone, we're gonna go travel through space and fly to a brand new planet. 
we're here. What a grand adventure to the main menu that was. I get it, all right. Realistically speaking, it'll take forever to fly to a new planet or the sun. But like, it's a game, man. Who gives all a shit? All of this just, you just works. Hands in the air! You're under arrest! Please! Stop resisting! All of this just works. Need that and that. That's mine. Sorry to whoever owns all this. The bank has my house. I need the money. Check this out. You can persuade people to do things instead of just shooting. Let's try this. Nobody wants that. It's working. Enough. I've had enough of you. There you go. I think I did it. Well, that's just one of the many ways a persuasion tactic can go. Impossible. It's been decades since I last saw this creature. The Brazilian Longclaw. Native to planets that run on 30 frames per second. He's just a big baby. Starfield versus my attention span. Who wins? If anything, you should get this game just to like walk around the cities and, <laughs> and look. Just look at the NPCs. <laughs> Stairfield. <laughs> hey guys, no hard feelings, right? My favorite credit analyst is back. Oh, nice outfit. I want that helmet. Oh, I can't get it? Aww. I'll take the credits though for my mortgage. So different guns in this game use different ammo types, which is common enough, but this is too much, I think. Look at this. The shotgun uses caseless shells. This one uses 11 millimeter rounds, 7.77 millimeter, 3 kilovolt laser, whatever, 6.5. There's way more, but I feel like this is already 16 times 16. too much. I never have ammo for half my shit because there's too many ammo types. And it's not as simple as just carrying the right gun because you can carry like two suits and a pistol before you max out the capacity which I know you can upgrade but Jesus Christ can we have a tiny bit more by default I'm sure that the things I'm complaining about have solutions like down the line right or they might not even be a problem to some people but to me I just feel so restricted by these openings what six hours I don't know guys maybe Bethesda style RPGs are just not for me Hey, is no one gonna bury this guy? The game does work though, so it passes the cyberpunk check at least. The gunplay's been pretty shallow, it's mostly just point and shoot. So it's okay, I'm still having fun, kinda. Oh, would you look at that? There's no ammo for any of the guns I'm using. 16 times the detail. We never finished our conversation about your little soiree. There's a British person on my ship. This helmet looks like a Doomslayer helmet. Mine! This one too. I'm trying to get us thrown into prison. There's a bank robbery going on. Can I join? Let's go talk to them. Maybe I can use my silver tongue. You're the negotiator, huh? Hands up, this is a robbery. Uh, let's try this. You have to believe me, we never meant to take hostages. Oh, did I do it? Nobody's been hurt. I did it! I talked them down! down <laughs> that was pretty fun. So, stop looking at me. Guys, this is Sam. He's pretty cool. I like his hat. A word about myself. Nah. That being said... This here's the best bar in town. Safest, too. <laughs> not right now, it's not. Let's hear it. Everything good here, Sam? I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Just say the words, Sam, and I'll blast this motherfucker. Oh! Kyanite, finally! This is the main story, by the way. We're hunting down these artifacts that seem to be pieces of, like, some advanced alien tech known as 60 frames per second. He's just a big baby. We should bring Cora back here sometime. Ghost I have no idea who he's talking man. about. Oh, we got one man. Man. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm getting pulled over! You won't take me alive! Ah, the ship combat's been getting boring. I'll come quietly, guys. Oh no, they took all my loot! I'm gonna lose my fucking house! Can I persuade them to give me all my shit back? I can, like, hail the space station, look. Got your ping loud as a bell. I feel like I'm in a Star Trek thing. This is a robbery! Uh -huh. I feel like it's moments like this where the game shines. You discover a new place and it looks nice. I feel this sense of scale and wonder. The music in the background just adding to the whole experience. I am genuinely immersed right now. But then playing the actual game is like... I have never felt this sad looking for loot. Oh, they're hailing me. Nah. A lot of people are saying this game is a slow burn. But I'm already nine hours in at this point. Can I just play something else? Is it me? Am I too stupid for Bethesda games? Even entering buildings is a loading screen. This just feels so choppy and dated. Imagine this, you're flying through hyperspace. 
and then a planet comes in range of your scanners and you decide, you know what, I want to check that shit out. You veer off course and then you explore. Hopefully a game like that comes out someday. It's so annoying how much of a letdown the exploration of space is. You're going through the main menu and clicking fast travel three times. It is nice though, discovering a cool looking planet. You know, it's got a nice landscape until you find out there's nothing to do. I don't get it. So many people seem to love the game. You teach me how to do that. Shooting in Starfield feels legitimately good. It's not best in class FPS gunplay and I wouldn't expect it to be. It's Bethesda Game Studios best feeling game by far. Someone said it could still be better and he's like, it's Bethesda's best attempt so far. I'm happy with that. Why is he talking about Bethesda like they're a special needs child? This is my new gun, guys. It's a revolver that sets people on fire. Oh my god. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It actually tanks the game's performance, I feel like. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled Can out you, the like, artifact. back up a little bit? Opening fire. Don't announce it. Oh my god, stop using fire attacks, moron! The frames are dropping! All of this just works. There's aliens in this game too, by the way. They're not the hot kind, though. I feel so bad for killing this guy. I thought he would despawn. In this game, you can kill a guy and then just plant evidence on their body so you don't get in trouble. Look, guys, Earth is in this game. Oh my god, what did we do? Well, clearly this is our fault for not using metal straws. There he goes. Au revoir, Shoshana! All right, let's go far in this main menu, like a brand new solar system. What is this dream face reveal? Look straight at me. I love exploring planets in Starfield for like the first two minutes. I'm on a side quest to find a missing person. Here, loading screen? Yep, here, found him. Hey, I found your missing guy. You're back! Okay, that's it. I ran for 10 minutes, then talked to a guy, then fast traveled back. Game of the year! All of this just works. Purple planet? Damn, this grimace shake thing is getting out of hand, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I'm not. In Starfield, you can witness the full power of Xbox. I have this new full auto shotgun though, so maybe things aren't so bad. You know, when the AI actually works and the frames aren't dropping, yeah, it's fun. This is so... See, even the game thinks so. Slow burn. If I see a single comment that says I need to get to the 15th hour before the game gets good, I'll fucking kill you. This is a huge day for us Starfield enjoyers. Ladies and gentlemen, I can pay for my house! Everything is in order. Yay! Excellent. I'm a homeowner! Ah! Oh my god, even the house is a loading screen? I'm here! Oh, it's, there's nothing here. It's just like the rest of the game. I'm kidding. You can decorate it, of course, but let's see if I can stay awake long enough for that. My balcony's nice, though. Let's just chill here. Now I rest. Watch the sunrise on a grateful starfield. Today's featured Zan Clan meme, Glory to Balaam. Like the video or I'll force you to play Starfield.